Hi, I am Sophie Giuliano, author of the Gorgeously Green book series. And today I am going to show you how to make something quite miraculous. Now you can make this in the comfort of your own home, in your kitchen. It is a lavender and rosemary moisturizer. And what I love about this moisturizer is that it's absolutely wonderful for combination skin. Or even if you're prone to pimples, this is a really, really great moisturizer. So if you make it at home, you know exactly what's in it. What I'm going to show you how to make today is pure, clean, natural, and beautiful. So let's get started. On my stovetop, I have two saucepans, and in the saucepans, I have a little bit of water, and I have two stainless steel bowls. So two saucepans, two stainless steel bowls, and they're heating up now. Now, the first ingredient that I'm going to put in, and by the way, all these ingredients, you can get from, many of them you can get from a health food, food store, but all of them you can get from gorgeouslygreen.com, my store. Now, the first ingredient that I'm putting in is one teaspoon of beeswax. Fresh, beautiful, natural beeswax that smells of honey. It's wonderful. The next ingredient that I'm putting in is two teaspoons of cocoa butter. So beautiful, natural cocoa butter. So in that goes, excuse my fingers, but we are dealing with skincare, which actually, incidentally, all of the products that I make are so pure and clean and wonderful that you could eat them. And you really shouldn't put anything on your skin that you can't eat. Next ingredient that's going in here is four tablespoons of jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is actually a wax, not an oil, and it's very, very good for problematic skin because it mimics the natural sebum in your skin. And so your skin doesn't produce so much sebum and so no more pimples. And all we want to do is not to let it bubble, not to let it cook, but just to melt. Now, in my second little pan here, I'm going to put in four teaspoons of emulsifying wax. Now this is vegetable emulsifying wax. And this is the thing, it comes in these little teeny pellets. And this is the thing that really holds your whole concoction your product together it binds all the ingredients together let's throw all that in there into that into the emulsifying wax i'm going to put in now this is a lavender infusion it sounds very fancy but all it is is some dried lavender flowers two tablespoons i put it in a cup of boiling water and i steeped it as you would steep a herbal tea cup of herbal tea and i'm going to add that there about two tablespoons that's going into the emulsifying wax so that's it that's pretty much the the main thrust of this so far and I'm just going to wait a couple of moments until these melt I'm actually just going to mix these oils all right so my oils have now melted completely so I've turned the heat off and now here's where we have to move really quickly because they start solidifying quick. So I'm going to remove the stainless steel bowls and this one has all the oils in it and the cocoa butter. So that's going to go in that measuring jug. Now, I'm also going to remove my emulsifying wax mixture here. Now the key is that these pretty much have to be the same temperature because you don't want them to, um, to separate. So the key is the same temperature. And so I'm just going to dip my finger in. You don't need a, to mess around with the thermometer. Yep, they're pretty much the same temperature. Now here's what we do quickly, is you're going to add the emulsifying wax and lavender infusion mixture slowly whisking to the oils and the butters. This is my favorite part of making skincare. All right, that is it. And as you can see, it's already beginning to solidify into this beautiful, unctuous cream. Now the finishing touch, while it's still warm, is I'm going to put in five drops of three different essential oils. And the essential oils that I'm using are rosemary, which is really, really great for uh, problematic skin. So I'm gonna put in five drops of rosemary. I'm going to put in five drops of lavender, also very calming and soothing for the skin. And the last calmer and soother is chamomile. So this is just the perfect blend of essential oils. There we are. 
and then I'm just going to swirl that around to let the oils synergize and then I'm simply pouring it in to a two ounce dark jar. You can either use plastic or glass, but I really recommend that you it's dark because the light can oxidize these oils and it'll last for a lot longer if you make it in a dark jar. And there you have it, an absolutely beautiful lavender rosemary moisturizing cream for combination or problematic skin. It's pure, it's really the best that money could buy and look how easy that was to make. So remember, you can always do it yourself and do it gorgeously.